If you want to make a cross-border payment, such as sending money to a parent, child, partner or a friend in another country, in many cases, these cross-border payments are very slow, they can take several days, be expensive and unreliable. So as a result, the countries that form the G20 has made enhancing cross-border payments a priority. It has endorsed a roadmap of 19 building blocks divided into five focus areas to address these challenges. One of the five areas looks into very recent inventions and investigates how new technology could play a role in improving cross-border payments. And one of these recent developments are CBDC. It stands for Central Bank Digital Currency, and it is a concept that is being investigated in many central banks across the world. In this context, the first report of Building Block 19 in the G20 roadmap analyzes how CBDCs conceptually could enhance cross-border payments and how practical efforts are taking these considerations forward. The report takes two perspectives. First, it looks at how cross-border payment infrastructure with CBDCs could be set up. And second, it examines the potential impact from a macro financial perspective should CBDCs be introduced. The key finding is that CBDCs might, in time and in combination with other improvements, advance cross-border payment methods. This work comes at exactly the right time. Central banks, the IMF and the World Bank come together and outline common thinking before CBDCs may get launched on a larger scale. If CBDCs are to become a useful tool for making cross-border payments, interoperability will be a key feature. Also, improvements in regulatory, supervisory and oversight frameworks are essential preconditions if CBDCs are to be able to reach their potential for making cross-border payments faster, cheaper and reliable.